over the age of 35, stop everything you're doing right now. After a lifetime of eating fatty foods, you may run the risks of a stroke or heart attack due to plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. To learn how you can reduce your risks, visit youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7856 today. This may be a life-changing call for you or someone you love. Thank you, and we hope to hear. All right, man, is Tiger doing his best impersonation of Soldier Boy, grabbing somebody else's stuff, putting your name on it, and trying to resell it as your own? Well, Vans, Vans thinks that Tiger stole their old-school silhouette design to put on his new wavy baby collection. Now, before the sneakers were released on April the 18th, this Monday, he had a lawsuit at his doorstep. Now, he put them joints out on Monday. It was gone for like 220 And Tiger claims out they sold out in about 10 minutes, right? So, Vans wasn't feeling it. Now, according to Hyper Beast, the lawsuit claims that Tiger and his company it, uh, pretty much accuses them of trademark infringement, false designation of origin, unfair competition, and trademark dilution. Now, they go on to say MSCFHF, right, in collaboration with Tiger, has shamelessly marketed the wavy baby shoe in a direct effort to confuse consumers, unlawfully siphoning sales from vans and intentionally damage vans' viable intellectual property rights. The lawsuit alleges, states that wavy baby shoe blatantly and unmistakably incorporates vans' iconic trademarks and trade dress they not playing around with tiger now again tiger hasn't said anything yet i mean the sneakers are still out there people are buying them people are actually posting up you know these sneakers all over you know the internet because they sold out so people obviously have to be buying them but he could be hit with a major major lawsuit and i'm sure if the, the vans wins they would want to probably you know get his books and see what he made to try to recoup that money now um yeah yeah it's a crazy 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 situation uh now high, sub high sobriety actually spoke to you know m s c f h f which is tiger's company they claimed that vans was stabbing them in the back and wanted half of their projects for the collab he says vans reached out to settle with us proactively um turns out they were shaking our hand at the same time they were stabbing us in the back so they're pretty much claiming that they had a deal with you know vans on the table but you know vans is coming out saying look heck nah like, i mean it's, it's a heck of an idea it looks great and i'm uh, it'd have been great if they could have collabed on it and tiger could have made you know a legitimate bag off of this but i mean let's keep it a buck that's that sneaker that's that sneaker. Now, things may be different, and I've seen people do that, and they change different patches and different, you know, um, design patterns and things like that. And ultimately, it's up to the court to decide. And this is kind of almost like, not exactly, but the whole envy with the Carcella thing. Like, you know, and a lot of people may disagree with that, but Coachella was so popular. Somebody comes up with Carcella. Coachella's like, nah, like, you didn't use that. We built... We took our time to build up a pre precious reputation with a portion of this name. You can't just take it and put something else on the front of it and call it Chella without, you know, getting our permission. And he lost the lawsuit. This is similar situation. This is similar. Now, it's not like Soldier Boy, Soldier Boy, you know, pretty much, you know, from what I've heard and what I observed, you know, got like a Chinese game system, um, put his logo on it, you know, and pretty much, you know, upsold it which i guess inherently is not wrong but the proper way to go about something right would be to be creative now a lot of people do this man a lot of people just they wait for other people to create stuff and then they create it in the same image and likeness because they don't really have no uh, um you know creativity to actually do it themselves they actually feed off other people's creativity so vans takes their time they come up with this design. It becomes iconic. Everybody buys it. Now, you know, 30, 40, whatever years later, this dude wants to come with something similar. Nah, it's like, and I'm not saying that I agree with Vans. I'm just, I'm just, you know, talking from a business perspective. It's like, heck no, you ain't going to come in here and take what we work so hard to do. Like, come up with your own. 
Now it might have been different if he would have like had the same kind of design, but maybe made like maybe didn't have it wasn't black and white. It was like another color with another, you know, uh, different, you know, like a, a different pattern on there. But the allure is okay. These oh snap! Like they kind of took it to the next level. Now, like I said, it would have been dope for them to collab because if they would have collabed on this, that would have been a legitimate bag for Tiger. And then again, who knows? Maybe the judge rules in his favor. I just don't know. But I think it's just lazy, man. I think, you know, if, if you're going to go through all of this, come up with your own. Be a man. Have balls enough to put your own product out there. Not have it mimic nobody else's product. But put your own pattern out there, your own product, and let it stand on its own. That's all I'm saying. But maybe I'm wrong. What do you guys think in the comment section about this? I'm going to digress. On this joint right now, Tiger being sued. Once again, no stranger to lawsuits. Uh, um, a lot of people compare it to Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy is just a little, a little different. I guess, you know, people could say he took the time out to change the line. And, you know, I think that's kind of dope, honestly, though. How you see, like, the wave in the shoe, that's dope. But they probably wouldn't have been as popular if Vans didn't already make that prototype already, right? It wouldn't have been as popular. It's like everybody's trying to catch Mercedes, right? And, and you know, or Audi. So Audi, you know, they, they start off with the grills. They get to make the big grills. So next year, everybody got the big grills. So, you know, Audi will make a car, you know, like this, like this. Next thing you know, Hyundai, the the uh, the Genesis, looks just like an Audi now. You know what I mean? Or this one copies off Mercedes-Benz. And this is, I get it, it's business. But at the end of the day, you can't go to as far as like like they can't you know lexus can't build the same car on the same platform as the mercedes you know i say a s class mercedes and in in um, one of the big body lexus they can't build their car on the same platform you know as mercedes that's that's something that they own they can have similar engines they can have similar colors they can all have four wheels but at the end of the day this is mercedes patent engineer this is their thing what they do it's a secret you know what i mean our engineers do it like this. Lexus's engineers do it like this. But you're not going to see, you know, uh, you, it, it, this is like, you know, when you see Soldier Boy, it's like, you know, Lexus going to go get a Mercedes and taking the badges off and throwing a Lexus sign on it and say it's a Lexus. No. When you lift up the hood, it's a Mercedes, right? Now, a lot of people don't think it's much different between Lexus and Mercedes. They say Mercedes is the, you know, the gold standard. Lexus make great cars, too. I'm just making an example right here. You know, really all automakers do, depending on the brand you buy. But I'm going to digress, man. What you guys think about this in the comment section? I thank you guys for taking the time out to actually listen to what I had to say. This is like one of those business things that I like getting into. So I wanted to kind of share this thing with you guys, man. Like I said, smash the like button. Smitty, smitty, smash the like button. Make sure you um, share the video. Very easy to do. Uh, share it. Easiest way is share it on Facebook or share it on Twitter real quick. All right. You can do that right from the YouTube app. And uh, the website is hip hop UN. Dot com. That's hip hop the letter UN.com for all your latest hip hop news. It's your brother, Logan Melvin Uppy.